The previous episode, we saw the hearts of thousands across the world break, having to see what he knows about to go through. I'm not excited. I gotta be honest. I am not. I'm looking forward to it, like the episode and being able to watch the series, because it's been like a highlight of the season for me. But I'm not looking forward to what possibly is going to happen. And likely, how oh, she's not going to like admit her feelings here and she'll just do what she can to suppress that and to play it off like she doesn't know why it's like this or blame it on other circumstances and stuff and i don't know it's just like it's gonna be sad because like as viewers and as even people like yo within the show kind of are aware of what's going on and realizing that she's going to be treating this a little weird uh and i don't know i'm not excited <laughs> just uh, hopefully you guys are though if you look at all the like and subscribe to the monster feel free to stick around for discussion on the concept of the series let's get going with episode six they're gonna make me watch it again Ugh. why am i hiding outside of it with an umbrella <laughs> how are you gonna get her her phone Just gonna take it for the night. <laughs> I respect this. I respect that. That is what? What? <laughs> I just live together now. I think, like, it's what I said in the intro. Heart breaks for certain reasons, and it's because she's gonna play it off the way that she is here. But I, I do think this is probably her best route. So we'll see. Why is she not here? <laughs> she let her in the conversation too. I think anyone would be. Oh, Balba. Mm. Mm. ヶ月一緒に住んでてこれって素敵ないなるいや、いや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、なるいや、な
They could be. Mm. I'm assuming the reactions because she's striving for it too, being left out. Ah. The thing to keep them pushing. But what do you have besides that to be distracted by? Mm. Poor girl. Why?。Things <laughs> are gonna get so bad. I just don't think they will. I wonder if we play it to a poss like a possibility of things turn out good. Like they work for her and she still does good in the tournament. そう<笑><笑> <laughs> Once again, every time we go to her, what are her thoughts on? And you see through yourself, but you don't. さあ、さあ。いや、自己管理が。それ、ナイス、ジスカナレイズエクスペクテーションズイヴンハイヤー。ね。ね、オフコース、リビングインザシャドウオブアザーズ。ああ、いや。Just an ordinary girl. The worst times. But there's no place for you, is there? But you don't. But you don't. I was assuming we were going to get like a random cut there of her dropping it again. Uh oh. Bro. <laughs> this is what I said last time. <laughs><笑><笑> Similar to what happened before her story last time. That's what you're worried about? This whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That could be. I was thinking more if she was trying to mentally give herself an excuse for for some shit. Yeah, because almost allows her to fully escape all expectations and everything that's being placed on her. <笑>こんな<笑><笑> That's what I've been thinking too. Like, <laughs> the coach is weird. Is it a person or yourself, though? <laughs> <笑>ひなって根っからの先頭にいる<笑> <laughs> One coming from him, but two also something that nobody else would do because they just expect it. And assume. <laughs> I think she's back to ball。<laughs> <laughs> はい、先輩は水を取りに。そうですか。あ、そういえば、今日生体で蝶野さんに会ったよ。ありがとうございました。あれから私も折りたたみ傘持つようになって。なんかでドラーの、なんかでディフレンドグーピースタイルズ。フ
uh, and makes you curious, like if any of the scenarios that we're witnessing throughout this had not occurred, if Chinatsu had not come involved, if they had not been caught living together, if they had not been in a position that almost forces these feelings to be kind of surfaced, would she ever come clean on them? Would she ever move forward and take that step? Would she constantly live like this instead? Just how things were normal or how things always were being friends with Taiki, right? They've been friends for a while. These feelings probably develop over time without her really realizing. And then when they come to surface, what do you do? You kind of reject that idea and you assume it's other things or blame it on other factors to try and suppress it even further. But it's kind of hard to not admit it when it's right in front of your face, right? So it gets you curious, like, is this a blessing in disguise in a way, right? Does it allow you to sort out your feelings and come to terms with them and realize them in present moment so that you can deal with it and sort it now as opposed to later down the line and even have an opportunity that you likely wouldn't have even ever had later down the line uh, because you would have just ignored it entirely or just gone on never really thinking about it. Uh, because somebody else kind of comes involved here, which I think is good. It's it's one of the tropes that I kind of like really like uh, when a friend essentially they don't do it here, but uh, I mean I guess they kind of do it in a way. But it's it's basically like when a friend comes to you and tells you that like they or somebody else really likes this person is planning to ask them out. And then like almost tries to force action on you because they're well aware you're not going to do anything unless you get, you know, somebody kicks your ass a little bit and gets you into gear. It's it's something I like. I like when that happens. Sometimes it's done weird. But I usually like when it happens. And it's another thing here where it's like you don't realize what you have until it's kind of like taken from you, which is almost what she's feeling as she sees these other people who make a great pairing together uh, and push each other even harder now being together, which ultimately puts you in a, a gross kind of situation for yourself. Cause now it's like, do you want to just sit back and let that happen and be depressed? Or do you want to continue to fight forward and actually like come to terms with the way that you feel and actually make an action on that? Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's a fun little thing with the way they handle it. But I, I think they did a good job overall with like a majority of everything that they they did. I was assuming she was going to get hurt at some point, and I like that it was almost like a fake out injury uh, because then we could still display it, but utilize it as a way for her and Taiki to kind of get cr closer together and have their relation be very similar, if not even better by the end uh, than it was before. And being able to then have people like uh, Chinatsu actually like figure out and think on their relationship a little bit more. So I, I think like everything that they laid out did a really good job directly for progression of plot and for nailing a lot of the kind of like uh, subtle things that it seemed as though they were like hinting towards or setting up in the previous episode. Because I kept saying Hino was going to get hurt, which is what they were making it out, out to be here. Uh, so I'm happy that they like played around with it, but in a way that didn't negatively impact her, that would force her down a depression spiral that we would have to deal with for remainder episodes. And instead, we utilize that for our own benefit and we allow her to properly succeed. We allow for Chinatsu to willingly see this like side of Taiki that's almost like enamored by who she is as a, a performer almost and, and her drive and just passion that she overall has that almost gives this different level of admiration and respect for somebody that she then starts questioning their relationship or her own relationship with him and almost makes her want to step aside so that they can have what they want and she can continue on. And it's two people who don't want to get in the way of something and essentially allow the other, uh, every party basically involved to strive even harder and utilize each other uh, for that, that advantage of just growing and getting better, which is a really cool thing. Instead of having that, that thing that I was assuming we would get throughout the series where distraction of love for one other would ruin their own you know abilities in what they can do we instead use that as some sort of way it is some sort of fuel for each party involved to become better and stronger uh along the way which is really fucking cool making me rewatch this again Ugh. i love her just jumping up and just willingly accepting this instead of running away and being like i, I gotta do something and asking what's going on i think it what does she say here uh, so that it girl and potato boy basically <laughs> okay but i do think her like essentially asking there is such a power move but so like fun too 
uh, instead of just running away, instead of dragging it out over more and more episodes when she's kind of aware of what's going on or allowing a lasting misunderstanding of believing that there might be something that's not exactly what it is, uh, we just get straight to the point and we've praised it enough and I'm going to continue to do it uh, <laughs> throughout the series, but it does such an excellent job at really progressing these, these plot lines so much more and not skating around like ideas and allowing people to be direct. And I mean, we even get to see at the end with Chinatsu and everything that that goes on it's just the emotional intelligence that almost kind of comes with it uh with each of the characters too that almost seems to be next level in comparison to a lot of a lot of different series especially shonen series absolutely stag jump on him as an apology for what's going on it didn't really helped you much i like how she starts like making fun of him too i mean I'm like you guys been together for two months and you've made no fucking progress <laughs> that's so stupid who would live with the other person if they disliked them though you know she would willingly put up a fight or do something so distracted in her own head she's bumping into objects and talking to them you know stuck within herself her performances are nice the little glimpses that they show us but then the outside noise continues to be piped in and in all these people having high praise and expectations and assumptions of who she's going to be and what she's going to be uh based on exactly who her dad was and you know what she's showing up to this point too do they actually care about you because of you and what you're capable of or do they just believe that you're going to be capable of this because of the family you come from and maybe as a way to get you closer to then get your dad to come that gives the school more recognition and all these other weird things that can come along with it and her just kind of being all over the place and not knowing how to feel about about having all of this stuff placed on her if i mess up again uh Fuck, what's gonna happen messing around with taiki a little bit more until we see something that we almost don't want to see again wow you have somebody else to support you you have somebody else that's kind of by your side essentially that's helping you that's making you strive and push for this thing and instead i have to fuel myself to live up to the expectations of things placed on me it's not like i'm doing it for the purpose of anybody else i have to do it for me but who's going to motivate me when i don't have that motivation or that that drive within me anymore you know practice gets tough they can think of each other we can use that to keep pushing forward what does she have when you're in a situation like that right it'd be nice to have that but that person that was always for her right here is gone almost she feels that at least it's not at all and she later discovers that again but the feeling that i'm going to lose this person that's been that for me all this time is kind of heartbreaking and not something that she wants and puts her into tears where she's completely unaware of what's going on still i have to face battles on my own you don't have to do anything on your own absolutely hate to see that just sadness surrounding her all the way through alone constantly and every time we show her, every shot of her is just kind of in her own little space. Messing up constantly and just making excuses to suppress it more and more. Looking away, no like witty remark back to him. Something's off about her. Something is not, not as natural as it usually is. Kyo is kind of aware of that being the case, you know? If she sees him with somebody else, like I can't go out of my way. I have to keep my distance. I have to do all of this. Later, Chinatsu ends up having like the same revelation, right? It's like, oh, I got to maybe keep my distance a little bit. Just separate them. It's just for this. It's only this purpose. You guys, it's freely open for all you guys to have this. It's... Ugh, such a disaster. Continue to mess up. Let me just keep messing up. Let me keep doing this. Let me go recharge myself. Need to pull shit together. The moment she has a little bit of th this, like, right? You look at this, the moment you have a little bit of release and excitement, a little something to get your mind off of it, immediately it's right back on it and more expectations and higher things are placed upon you which is just terrible how are things going in practice too and she just continues to be like oh it's okay it's okay it's really not literally just an ordinary girl but instead they keep putting all these expectations on me when realistically i just want to make jokes with somebody and live freely and do something i do enjoy doing she goes to say something to him sees he's watching the other girl of course it ruins her and she ends up running away from him i have to get through this on my own again it's just me it's just me it's just me Keep working, pushing, going harder and harder and harder. Seemingly distracts herself enough to believe that she's in a good spot, believe she's doing something that's good because she didn't make any mistakes today when that stuff could flare up at any time because it's all unresolved things. And unfortunately, has a little bit of a scare here and she gets hurt. Might just be a little moment where you feel like you get hurt, you get up and you walk it off and, and you're not in pain anymore. But at the same time, 
Is the pain used as a distraction? Is the pain almost something that you're mentally trying to tell yourself an excuse to escape from all the expectations that are placed on you? The excuse to escape from all of these possibilities and these things that are kind of clouding your mind that are making you very unhappy, that are making you distracted to begin with. Is this a distraction for the distractions? You know, like what what exactly is she she's struggling with here in the instant panic? of what to do and of course look who's here right by your side willing to carry you on his back willing to just bring you similar to like he had to on that trip that special story you had to go out of your way and tell chinatsu about what if she sees you like this what what the fuck's wrong with you who cares about that right seeing this side of him that's different but also like seriously you're you're so worried about something that you shouldn't be worried about right now like you might be hurt right you prioritize yourself don't worry about other people and their scenarios and stuff let's go poor girl no, I think you're good. <laughs> Just walk it off, buddy. You'll be good. And then have that moment that they finally get what she wanted, that moment of release where they can mess around with each other. They can relax and all this other stuff can go out the window almost. And so this, she's talking about Chinatsu here, but I almost felt like she was talking about herself where she literally can't get over herself. She like struggles to get through these things. And if any, it's one of those things where like, if somebody's going to beat you, or if you're going to lose, it's going to be because of yourself, right? She's going to get beat by herself ultimately at the end of the day because of these distractions and things that she's placing within her own mind without working on. Instead, she ends up throwing Chinatsu kind of out there almost as the comparison for everybody else, like idealizing and like looking up to instead. And what exactly is pissing her off? But I, I can see it. I definitely get exactly why, but it's still like, fuck that. <laughs> Makes me want to run away because I can't beat that and I don't think I can. Why would I want to fate that? Uh, but you get to see how somebody else sees you. This is a really cute visual. You're a fighter. You won't lose. You have too much pride. You will not let yourself run. You never have. You never will. <laughs> I'm fucking angry. <laughs> Everything's all good. Able to put it back on and get back to fucking work. No more excuses. Lock the fuck in. And then can you wish me luck, right? You're an ordinary girl. You're somebody who hasn't been able to get that because everybody just assumes that you're going to do the best, assumes you're in a good spot. They don't need to wish that. They just expect those things out of you. So having that one person, especially that special person to you, give this back is a, a wonderful thing, of course, and it makes her very happy. She plays around, she jokes a little bit, but we know she cares. A little upset we didn't get to see the performance, but I'm assuming they're saving performances and stuff, probably for nationals, save on animation and stuff too. <laughs> it definitely can help them. And then you don't have to make a comparison of what you see in this performance to like future ones of like, ah, maybe the other one like looked better or something. Like very happy. She snaps back. She's the normal Hina that we've grown to love. It's been a long time coming. Let's see. Let's see when, it, when it's faced with her realizing it, how all those go. A little conversation. She learns a little bit about Hina and their whole scenario and almost the admiration. Because that's what I'm assuming this is, right? It's almost clear, in my opinion, that feelings of romantic interest at least are chinatsu and or taiki to chinatsu chinatsu to taiki but trying to suppress that and then hina to taiki but trying to suppress that <laughs> so each of the girls not wanting to recognize what's going on while he's openly kind of recognizing that um and him just almost admiring her work ethic and her drive and her will like ability to just be who she is uh is so admirable for somebody who cares so much about what he's doing as well so when she sees this face similar to what she saw out of her telling stories and everything from you know in the previous episode it makes her immediately assume something she was right in her prediction that you know uh he know actually is interested in taiki and even here she's wrong probably with where her mind ends up going but it's not too far off of like an idea to assume when you end up seeing the way that he like glows when he's speaking on her and what she's capable of, um, that it gets her immediately thinking and to try and do the mature thing in her mind, to try and do the thing to isolate herself and also allow them to do things and not get in the way between it. Let me make that decision to separate myself. I'm only here because of basketball and because of this, which she's been trying to tell us from the beginning, let me get out of the way which is really, really sad because as viewers, we don't want to buy that. We want to believe this is end game anyways. And like, we're aware because of being first girl introduced in relation and stuff to that, uh, what usually comes along with it is that she's going to win. Uh, but it does a good job at almost like you can't really lose if you're sabotaging yourself. Like 
they, you're not going to get the other girl's not going to get picked over you because like of a lack of your own effort or like ability or anything if you just willingly make yourself lose here so uh it's like a fun little workaround so we don't have to keep pushing for it but i don't know i think it was i think it's everything's kind of done well and displays a nice job of like we're going to each strive and do things at our own sort of pace so that we no longer have to um utilize like romance in like this weird sort of way everybody can keep striving for what they do while that's really in the background and it's it's pretty cool so hopefully you guys enjoy it if you liked it all like and subscribe to the me feel free to check out the channel and leave any comments with this episode or series i'll be back for the seventh episode next week i always a great one peace